hello, and welcome to our to our live stream. Um, I'm Sherry, and this is our newsroom here in New York City. It is the news. That's the ceiling of our newsroom. We are in combination here with News One, which is our local affiliate TV crew, and we're going to take you back now to our studios. So come on, follow me. A little cup of coffee. Hope there's a couple of people there. Hope so. Come on. We're going back through the offices. This is our hallway here where we have our studios. This is where we do live coverage. If we have something going on here, something big in Washington or wherever, we go into one of these studios here. And this is the studio where we do our hourly newscasts, Studio A. It's red, which means the mic is on, which means I forgot to turn the mic off last hour. Please come in the little studio with me. This is my pride and joy studio. Hello and welcome. Okay, here's what we've got. We've got a newscast coming up at the top of the hour. And obviously we have Attorney General Jeff Sessions and some other stuff, but that's our biggest story of the day. So what we're going to do is first of all, check our cuts, make sure we have them. We're going to pull that down, put the reading glasses on. The reading glasses go on. They are key to read. Here's our cuts. Aaron Katursky. From the White House this morning. Some Cecilia Vega. And everything crashed on top of me. And a woman who was in a tornado in Illinois, my home state of Illinois. Go Illini. Hold on. I'll pick that up. Oh, there's my script. I was looking for that script. Okay, take a look down here. You see this green button here on our on our uh, on our key. I'm going to push that because what that's going to do is turn off an anchor alarm in the newsroom. And if I hadn't pushed that button, what would have happened is the newsroom there would have been a little alarm that would have said Bing, 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 Bing. There's no anchor in this Studio A. There's no anchor in Studio A, thus alerting me that it was at the top of the hour and it was coming up and we had a newscast. Okay. So take a look at the clock here. This is uh, a very nice clock that our engineer Kevin Ryder got us. It's all hooked up, so it's exactly right on. We're going to have this button come on in about seven seconds. It's going to say stand by, and that means we have one minute to go until the top of the hour. When we are live at the top of the hour, that light's going to go on. That's our on-air on light, and that means, yes, we are live. So now we do sit and wait and read what we have written. We've got cuts pulled. Aaron Kotursky has put together something about um, the Attorney General. And then we have uh, Cecilia Vega on what the White House is saying. And then we have our cut from uh, Illinois. And then in the back of the book, I'm not really sure what we have on the back of the book, but that's after our commercial. So we got 30 seconds when we play the cuts. You might not be able to hear them. I'll try to pop them down so you can hear them. But uh, if not, the, that means the mic is on. You won't be able to hear the cuts when the mic is on. Okay, here we go. 15. From ABC News. I'm Sherry Preston. New pressure on Attorney General Jeff Sessions to recuse himself from investigations into Russian interference in the U.S. election. The calls coming amid questions about his testimony before Congress. Here's ABC's Aaron Katursky. Campaign. Then Senator Sessions spoke twice with Russia's ambassador to the U.S. During his confirmation hearing, he said he had no contact with the Russians. Some members of Congress, including now Utah Republican Jason Chaffetz, said he should recuse himself from investigations into Russian election meddling, something Sessions on Monday seemed willing to do. I would recuse myself on anything that uh, I should recuse myself on. Sessions now... House GOP leader Kevin McCarthy is also calling on Sessions to recuse himself, but the Justice Department continues to say Sessions did nothing wrong since he met with the ambassador in his role as a member of the Senate Armed Services Committee. ABC senior White House correspondent Cecilia Vega with more on what the administration is saying. House this morning, they are calling this a political attack on...
on them. This, of course, comes as the Trump administration is still riding very high following that joint session speech and the glowing reviews. But this is not the storyline that they were hoping to wake up to this morning. More questions about contacts with Russia. ABC Cecilia Vega at the White House. Folks southwest of Chicago continue cleaning up after an EF3 tornado ripped through the area Tuesday. One man killed by a falling tree. A tree also fell on this woman while she was in her car. Crashed on top of me and I could hear the wind. I crawled into the passenger side because that was the only part of the car that wasn't collapsed. Amazingly, she was able to walk away. Those storms moving eastward, 50 to 60 mile an hour wind gusts are delaying flights at some mid-Atlantic airports. You're listening to ABC News. Okay, that was part one. Is that exciting? Is that exciting? Is that an exciting two minutes of, of news? Because I, I think it was. I think it was spot on. Okay. Okay. Okay, we have our cuts in the back, ready to go. One of them is about an immigration student who was picked up, and the other one is about a woman who had a hundred and forty pound cyst removed. That is disgusting, and that is amazing, and doctors just told her she was overweight. Uh -uh. And it's the second story we've had like that in a month. Dude had a 180-pound benign tumor removed a month ago. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, here we go. Why was an Argentine college student studying in Mississippi arrested by Immigration and Customs Enforcement? Criticizing the Trump administration's stepped-up immigration policies, 22-year-old Daniela Vargas was stopped by ICE agents and detained. The agent said her status under the so-called DREAM Act had lapsed, but Vargas's lawyer, Nathan Emmons, says... She was a passenger in the vehicle. She was not breaking the law, but she was pulled over because she was identified as being at the press conference. Now Daniela Vargas will... Here's one of those stories that just makes you go, what? A woman from Pennsylvania thought she was just big, had no idea what was there. Mary Clancy said she tried to lose weight, but instead tipped the scales the other way. The 71-year-old never expected to lose nearly 200 pounds in a day. The bulge in her belly turned out to be a 140-pound ovarian cyst. I was so shocked when they told me. I just, the first thing I thought was Sigourney Weaver with the alien. Doctors were shocked, too. They removed the massive cyst along with excess skin during surgery. Now Clancy says she feels like she has a new lease on life and is ready to enjoy it to the fullest. Michelle Franzen, ABC News. Michael Jackson's Neverland Ranch is on the market again. $67 million will get you 2,700 acres, 13,000-foot mansion, and a 3,700-foot pool, a movie theater, a train station, etc., etc., etc. This is ABC News. Brought to you by Attorney Tax. If okay! Now we just have IRS one more little thing to do. We come back and we say our taxes. names. The IRS is now offering a special our papers. program called the Fresh Start Initiative, which can offer significantly reduced most settlements part. that can reduce really. your liability by thousands of dollars. You may qualify for substantial relief and even forgiveness. See if you qualify and get the help you need by calling the Consumer Hotline, 800-535-3787. That's... I'm Sherry Preston, ABC News. Bam! Okay, that's it. That's our exciting live stream um, newscast. And I hope that you've enjoyed it. And we certainly had fun. If you have any questions, John's going to read me some of the questions that you have. John, turn around and give yourself a shout out, John. Fancy thing here. Hi, everybody. Yeah, there's John. He's All our right, producer. Yeah, so just ask me your questions, and uh, I'll uh, send them over to Sherry. Nobody has any questions. At least not yet. Who oh, knows? Well, you know, that's okay, because, you know, I realize uh, that it might not necessarily be a question-filled time, but um, if you have any questions, you can put them on our Facebook page, and we can answer them there. Okay? We hope you enjoyed this, and um, good luck in your journalism pursuits, or just have fun on Facebook today. Bye-bye.